Hello everyone, welcome back. On this episode, I will show you what I did on the first day back in Chengdu. Don't forget, I made an episode all about Panda. I've linked it on the top right corner. Comment below and let me know what you think of China's national treasure. So guys, we had arrived at the Xi'an North Station. So we're gonna get take the high speed rail to Chengdu. So right now, I am on a high speed rail going from Xi'an North Station to Chengdu East station this journey would take me three hours and seven minutes to be exact the high-speed rail in china is very very stable and super convenient to me it's the best way to travel the country as this one is the fastest route though so the others usually take like three and a half three hours 40 minutes three hours 50 minutes it depends so we will arrive in Chengdu in the afternoon so guys, I have we had entered one of the most crowded places in Chengdu in all of Chengdu actually the Kwanzaa alleys it means wide and narrow alleys it's consisting of three streets of course the wide one the narrow one and a central alley that connects the both of them I haven't been here since 2011 when I came with my best friend I'm back here because it is one of my favorite places, I guess, in Chengdu. Yes, it's very touristy, but I do think it's worth it to come. It's like there's always one famous street, at least one famous street in each Chinese city, right? Just like the 10th sleepless night that we went last night in Xi'an, Huangzi Alley, definitely the most famous in Chengdu because it is uh, one of those rare memories that I remember from Chengdu because it's been so long and I'm just so happy I'm back. We're in the wide one now. We're gonna go into the central alley that connect the wide and the narrow. And just in case you don't know, which I don't, Chengdu is the city of panda because they have a panda research nearby the city, which I'm going tomorrow. So this is the narrow alley, guys. Definitely got the vibe here, right? I think in all these places, it's much better to come at night. But as I have a dinner show tonight, that's why I'm here right before it's dark. A little bit about the trip this time. This is my last city stop before I head back to Hong Kong. I still remember the Starbucks. At that time, 14 years ago, when I see something like this from living in New York, I was like blown away because to see a Starbucks in like an ancient Chinese setting to me was really really cool, especially at that time. But of course now we see that everywhere, right? Anyways, so Chengdu is also an ancient city. Not as old as Xi'an, but it was also important. It was like in the same era. It also dates back to over 2000 something years ago. Things about Chengdu, if you love spicy, you're at the right place and I love spicy food which I'm not sure if you all know some famous dishes that you probably probably have had elsewhere in the world are actually from here like mapo tofu if you have had Chinese food I'm quite sure you have heard of mapo tofu it's this like um, spicy tofu dish with shredded pork so Chengdu is the capital of spice of spicy food and of course Hot Pot as well compared to Chongqing where we went last week the Hot Pot there it's a different style. They use butter on their soup base. Compared to Chengdu, it's very different. So mapo tofu, hot pot, you must try. So even if you don't eat spicy food, you are okay because uh, you can do clear broth, mushroom broth, or like bone broth without the chili. So you don't have to worry about it because they have like different section in the pot where you can have your hot pot. It's meant for sharing anyways. Okay, so this is the alley that also goes to the other side. And now we go back to the wide alley. Okay, so to be honest, is it that much wider? It is at least double the size. One of the best thing to do in Chengdu is to go to these tea houses. Probably not at Kwanzhu uh, Alley because there are many tea houses around Chengdu. They're really famous for these tea houses. The vibe is great. You can easily spend three hours just drinking tea uh, with their snacks and stuff, you know. So don't miss that. Make it as one of your must-do in Chengdu to visit these tea houses. Alright, so this is a map of this area. As I mentioned, it consists of uh, three main alleys. The narrow zhe, the narrow alley, and the quan means the wide alley. And of course, the central one that connects them. And there's also one called Jian Alley. We're now gonna enter the Jian 
alley which is the one all the way on the left in the map i don't know if i ever mentioned that you know how in each culture or country there's always an art at least one of course china has many that they are very famous of one of the ones in china is stage chain i'm gonna insert a, a video actually it started in Chengdu here so that's why you will see many stage change dolls here because it's from here like this these are the ones because once you take out them the cover it will change the look at all these panda we are in the capital of panda now you have entered this more quiet streets here the jian alley if you want to take pictures this is the alley but if you want people food snacks restaurant drinks is the next two lots more tea houses on this alley so to me drinking tea is more zen right so i want like a more quiet atmosphere as well do visit this alley for the tea houses because i think they are much nicer a one of the original well water wells from bagan we are now in a trendy neighborhood of Chengdu. It's just across from my dinner place. I, I better not make, uh, miss the uh, reservation. So this is the area. Pretty cool. So this is where I'm having dinner. It should be a very good experience, guys. So we bo I booked quite late last night. So that's why I couldn't get a seat for the dinner reservation because the middle seats are very hard to get. Also, you can rent costumes here and with makeup services and take pictures, which is what I really wanted to do. But unfortunately, I couldn't get a middle seat. That's why I booked the 9 p.m. with drinks. So hopefully it will still be good. It costs 600 RMB for the ticket because I got the first row ticket. They have different pricing. The cheapest price is 498, I think. So guys, this is the inside. Oh, that's pretty cool. Cool, pretty cool, pretty cool, huh? Oh, nice. So this is my seat. Whoa, it is pretty cool. So I arrived. Um, so this restaurant is called Shu Yan Fu. Ooh, it's starting. Oyster, you all know it's one of my favorites. Mm. It's very hot. <laughs> it's very hot. So guys, remember I said that it has liquor. So if you choose to have liquor, it's like wine pairing, but with like liquor pairing or it's like drink pairing, may I say so? So it will explain to you what dish you're getting and what drink is paired with it. 
I think this is an absolutely great deal. Where in this type of setting, for each dish you get a performance, you get a drink. So for someone who like like me who likes to drink, this is like really really perfect. I think. So for this dish, we have fried fish, whiskey-based mint tea drink. Uh, I think the alcohol content in this in this drink is 19 percent, but it smells really good. Mm. So we have to do it the Chinese way. I think I, I was looking at how some other other people did it. They they have to cover like and drink like this. Hmm. Let's try the fish. It's fine. We're mainly here for the experience, not so much of the food. The food is all right. It's not bad at all, though. Wow, that's pretty cool. Slow cooked scallop with Szechuan pepper. Yum yum yum. And the drink is it's a gin with pineapple and guava. But I had the best time. It was like stepping into an immersive ancient theme banquet where every detail is meticulously curated. It's like traveling through time and space. Arrived at the Sheraton at Chengdu. This is the Sheraton Li Du. Quite convenient actually. Not bad at all, especially for its price. Less than 80 US dollars. And it has lounge access breakfast and everything uh, but I think that's because of the membership so pretty nice for its value I should say the uh, reason why I didn't book St. Regis or JW uh, is because I'm leaving very early tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. to be exact and tonight I have a dinner show I won't be even at the hotel much except to sleep I hope you all enjoyed watching this pretty chill day I had in Chengdu. Don't forget to like, comment and share to your friends. On the next episode, I will show you my favorite place on earth, Zhou Jiaigou. See you next week.